at the Creative Discovery Museum in the Little Yellow House kitchen today. So we're going to read a book and it's called What Can You Do With a Rebozo? And it is by Carmen Tafola and illustrated by Amy Cordova. And so first I want us to flip to the back and we're going to read what is a rebozo because I was not familiar with that word and maybe you aren't either. So let's read back here and it's going to explain that to us. For centuries, women in Mexico have known that a rebozo or Mexican shawl can be remarkably handy. Rebozos are used for everything from dressing up for a party to carrying firewood. A rebozo can become a quick umbrella, a beautiful cape to swirl at a village folk dance, or a sling for parents to carry their babies. Rebozos are made of the finest silk or everyday cotton. They are woven in factories or sewn by hand. In the old days, some rebozo factories wove real gold threads into their rebozos to make them into very special gifts. Today, many Latina women wear rebozos to weddings, fiestas, or quinceañeras. And so I don't really have a true rebozo, but I did have this long scarf that I like. So I threw it on, and if you have a long scarf at home, or even just a blanket or a shawl, this book gives you lots of fun ideas of fun things to do with it. So what can you do with a rebozo? Let's see. Here we have a little girl and there's the rebozo. See the red shawl with the, the fringe on the ends? What can you do with a rebozo? Mama spreads it like a butterfly to pretty up her dress for Sunday morning or wraps it into a cozy cradle for baby brother so her hands are free to weave a braid for me. So she used it to wrap up a baby and put it on her back. But here she's just draping it across to dress up her outfit. Baby brother ducks under a rebozo to play hide and seek and do a peekaboo peek. The rebozo right there. Big sister twirls a rebozo round and round and ropes it through her shiny hair. She's put it in her hair. Grandma uses hers to keep the cold away on winter nights. It's nice and warm in there. So they're all wrapped up in the rebozo. That seems cozy. Yesterday, Tio wiped up a spill with Mama's blue rebozo and I helped too. Oh, so they've used the rebozo to clean up it looks like maybe some ketchup or something red and sticky. It was full of sticky red ketchup spots. But Daddy washed it clean as new. Oh, well that was handy. They used it to clean up a mess. On my birthday, we swung a pinata up into the tree and wound the rebozo over our eyes. Have you guys ever hit a pinata? That's pretty fun. Sometimes candy falls out. They're using the rebozo like a blindfold. When we burst that big ball of treats, out came a yummy surprise. You can turn it into a secret tunnel if you have two chairs or a sash for a pirate at sea. So they made a little tent or like a little fort. That's a really fun thing to do. Or even a flying cape and the superhero is me. This looks like Halloween. Looks like she's used it for her Halloween costume to be a superhero. When my puppy didn't feel good, I made him a bandage all nicely tied. And when my cousins turned my room into a playground, it became a long red slide. Oh, they're using the rebozo as a slide for their stuffed animals. But what I like to do most with a rebozo is dance. La Bamba, my favorite dance. I dance and dance and dance with my rebozo. I swirl and I leap until I'm so tired that I fall fast asleep on mama's bed where she covers me oh so gently with her red rebozo. So now it's like a blanket. And that's the end. That was a really cool book and it gave me some really good ideas of fun things that I could do with my scarf. My favorite thing that they did, I think, 
was when they made the slide for the animals. I thought that was a really cool idea. I also liked when they made the little fort. That's a really fun idea to do in your house. So maybe you could find a big shawl today or even a blanket and see how many ways, how many different ways you could use it. All right, friends. Well, thank you for joining me for What Can You Do With a Rebozo by Carmen Tafola. And I'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.